Not another Arduino VGA video, you might be thinking. But wait, I am going to show you how you can do VGA on a Nano in 320 by 200 pixels, just like the Commodore 64, by using just one single TTL IC that costs you about 20 cents. We'll be using a full 256 character set located in flash memory, freeing up your precious SRAM for your own code. If that sounds like a good starting point for your next project, let's dive in. As some of you might already know, I love to squeeze maximum performance out of limited hardware. But this one was a real challenge indeed. But more on that later. First, let's see what it takes to get this working. We start with an Arduino Nano. I have already programmed its low fuse byte from hex FF to hex BF so that it outputs its 16 MHz clock here on pin D8. This is going to be our pixel pump. If you are unsure of how to program fuse bytes on the 80 Mega 328, don't worry, I have already made a video about it. I'll put the link in the description. Next I upload my sketch into the Nano that takes care of generating the VGA sync signals. Again, if you want to learn more here, there is an introductory VGA video here on my channel. I'll also link to it. Let's see what signals we get now by hooking up my PC scope. There you see the 16 MHz clock on pin D8. On pin D10 there is the vertical sync 60 times per second. On pin D12 we get the horizontal sync every 32 microseconds. Um, let me quickly wire that up to my VGA connector. Here is the VGA pinout I'm using. On D11 we get a low pulse every 8 clock cycles or every 500 nanoseconds. I'll be using the signal to load a byte of pixel data into the shift register. Then the system clock will pump it out serially to the VGA monitor. Let's have a look at the datasheet of this IC before we hook everything up. We have power and ground and a master reset, which I'll tie inactive high. And we have a chip enable, which I'll tie active low. And next we hook up our 16 MHz signal to the clock input CL. And the Arduino's digital pins D0 to 7 go well to D0 to 7. And Q7 goes directly to the VGA connector. And the serial input, DS, I'll tie also low. The load pulse from pin D11 goes to the parallel load input, PE, here. Let's grab our breadboard and start building. Now I'm inside the Arduino sketch again. Mm, we have an array of video RAM here, called VRAM. For a quick test, I'll fill it with random characters and random positions, just to get an impression of what the character set looks like. Ok, let's upload. And look at that, it's working beautifully, that's awesome! Look at all those graphical characters. If you don't like the look of them, you can use and define your own ones. Now let me just briefly touch on how this works, since for me it was a really interesting learning experience. I have experimented with VGA before, but I never was able to get it working with a full character set in flash memory, since the AT Mega 328 processor accesses flash memory a bit slower than its dynamic RAM. 
The initial idea for my project came from a really interesting website maintained by Grant Seal. Some of you might know Grant for his minimal Z80 and minimal 6502 CPU builds and lots of other really sophisticated stuff. On his website, I'll link to it in the description, Grant shows how he outputs 80 columns text on composite video. Composite video is a lot slower than VGA, but I was impressed. I couldn't use Grant's code since he wrote it all in the AVR environment and I wanted to stick with the Arduino IDE. I would have to teach myself how to at least embed some assembler code to pull off this VGA thing. I found myself writing about 50% of my code in assembler inside the Arduino IDE while learning AVR assembler along the way. If that sounds like an interesting option to you too, check out my source code. For now, let me just show you the very core of the code that is pumping out the pixel data. It's really easy to understand. The 16-bit register X points to the current row of VRAM to be displayed. And the high byte of the Z register holds the MSB of the character data in flash memory. So this data has to be page aligned and needs to be organized line-wise. The first LD instruction loads the next character from VRAM into the low byte of Z so that Z now points to the correct pixel data. LPM for load from program memory reads in a pixel byte from flash into register R21. The next out instruction outputs that data to our shift register. The last two out instructions will pull the parallel load enable low for one clock cycle. So the next clock will load this pixel data and the following clocks will pump it out pixel by pixel to our VGA monitor. Now if you add up the number of clock cycles, we end up exactly at 8. So everything can be repeated for the next pixel byte just in time. I am pretty sure that this completely maxes out the performance of the Arduino Nano. Please let me know in the comments if you can squeeze out even more. So this is it for today. As always, the link to my code is in the description. I think in my next video I am going to use this VGA thing here to build a minimal standalone serial terminal for my minimal CPU system. Check out the video series about it here on my channel. I hope you've enjoyed diving into generating VGA on a shoestring here and that you got something out of this. See you next time. Take care. Bye.